Why, happy, happy Monday. Hopefully your job allows you to take today off so we can remember this important holiday, in my opinion. It's one of the more important holidays, and I don't know how one celebrates it. One, I ponder on the American history and the progress we have made for equality and civil rights for all. That's how I remember today. Now, today, depending on which state you're in and depending on your personal opinions, it's either Robert E. Lee Day or Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Both played an important role within history. One fought for the Confederates. There's a lot of nuance when it comes to Robert E. Lee. I think a lot of people judge him with today's standards, which I think is unfair. He comes from a different period, comes from a different world. He comes from a period where certain things that we deem unacceptable were normal. And that's, unfortunately, a lot of history. A lot of history, people tend to forget that it was a different period, different standards. And we must recognize the people within the standards of the period that they lived in to truly understand them. But with that being said, I do understand why people don't like Robert E. Lee. I understand that his role in the Civil War paints him in a negative light. But I think he did play an important role. Someone had to play the general of the Confederacy Army. And unfortunately, it was him. I've heard stories that if he wasn't a Virginian, he would have fought for the Union because he was, he believed in the ideas of America and it just so happens his idea of America in Virginia was different than the fragile government and President Abe Lincoln. But that, that, shouldn't, that shouldn't diminish his role within American history. But also, we must recognize another pivotal member of our history, which is Martin Luther King. Because after the Civil War was fought and won by the federal government, we've become, I don't know if you can hear the sirens, but I'm not going to stop the video. Anyways, Martin Luther King is an awesome person. He's imperfect, don't get me wrong. He is not perfect. I understand that as a reverend, he probably strayed from the path of God from time to time when it came to the ladies. But that shouldn't take away his achievements. Shouldn't take away what he did for America. His actions of peaceful protests, civil disobedience, led the charge for civil rights in America for everybody, regardless of gender, regardless of skin tone, regardless of ethnic background. We are now more equal in the eyes of the law because of him and people like him. And that's why today is such an important day because it represents a history where slavery was considered normal. It represents a time where black people were considered second class citizens and the people that fought to right the wrongs of America. Which is Martin Luther King, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Robert E. Lee fought to right the right wrongs of the people or the government because he didn't. He fought for the, the South. He fought for the states in the state of rebellion. That should not go unnoticed, but both people played their part in history and we must recognize history, we must understand history in order to understand ourselves and so we don't make the same mistakes. Now I have this article from the Smithsonian talking a little bit more about the history of Martin Luther King Day and Robert E. Lee's birthday that follows on the same day. Martin Luther King has been celebrated on the third Monday in January since the federal holiday was first observed in 1986. Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert E. Lee were born 122 years and four days an ideological world apart. We must understand that. The Confederate Army General Lee was born on January 19, 1807. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January the 15th, 1929. 
Even 1929 is a different world than what we know today. Since being signed into law by President Reagan in 1983, Martin Luther King Day was celebrated on the third Monday of January, close to his birthday, which means in states that celebrate Lee's birthday, these two very different men are honored on the same day. In Alabama and Arkansas this year, for instance, both names appear on state holiday calendars. The culprit of the intersection of Martin Luther King Day is a federal holiday celebrated across the country, while Robert E. Lee birthday is only celebrated in some states that were part of the Confederate South. Only three states, Alabama, Arkansas, and Mississippi, continue to celebrate the two on the same day. The convenience is the main reason that the two days became linked in the first place. Jamal Bowie writes for the slate, which is a left-wing propaganda. In states that commemorate Lee lawmakers who approved MLK didn't want to create two holidays in January. He writes, so they combined the two days. The concept, he writes, is a poor pairing as bureaucracy, bureaucracy solution. Bureaucracy solution worked. I don't think it's poor pairing. It represents two time periods of our life or our history of America. It represents where we come from and the progress we have made. And I think comparing a Confederate general or pairing a Confederate general who fought for the South to have states' rights versus federal rights, I do understand that the consensus of the Civil War is based off of slavery, but it's a lot more nuanced than that. It really deals with states' rights versus federal rights and the role of the federal government to dictate states' rights. And I do understand the the linking, the importance of slavery that led the separation of the South to secede. I do want to recognize that, but there's a lot more nuance into it than just it was over slavery. But still, it represents a period of our history where it was normal to treat certain members in a certain way that we deem unacceptable today. And Martin Luther King also fought as the North fought the South to right the wrongs of our country. Because even in 1929, black people were second-class citizens. They were segregated. They had less rights than white people. Not just black people. Unless you were white, you were pretty much considered a second-class citizen in 1929. And that's not right in today's standards. But back then, it was acceptable. Does it make it any less right or wrong? The convenience of the main reason of the two days became linked in the first place. Yeah, 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 writes. The fact that the Confederate general who led the army of the states defending slavery and after the Civil War fought to keep black people from voting is remembered on the same day as civil rights leader Martin Luther King hasn't gone unnoticed, right, Olivia Becker for the for Vice, which is another one of those publications that I don't really subscribe to, but it doesn't matter. In Arkansas, this is the last year it seems that MLK Lee Day might be celebrated for the last time as lawmakers vote whether or not to pass a bill that would move the celebration of Lee to a separate day, she writes. It didn't pass the second time in recent years. Such measure failed, writes Steve Barnes for her rooters or rooters. A Democrat who voted against the bill told Barnes that Robert E. Lee Day was still a very important to his constituents and he wanted to act in their interests. Conservative Southerns are worried that Lee, an important historical figure in a place where a civil war remains significant, would be forgotten if the holiday was moved. He writes, as a Virginia, I understand the drive to praise Lee. Paul writes, his honor is undeniable and worthy quality but we shouldn't forget what Lee fought for. Not for the freedom or for liberty, but the perpetual bondage in the South that forever held as black citizens as slaves and servants. I recognize that. I recognize it was normal back then. And there were people that 
didn't want it to be normal, and they fought to change that. It was a big step, don't get me wrong. It was a step when they freed the slaves finally after the Civil War. But it wasn't a perfect solution. And there was still bigotry. There was still racism. Blacks were still considered second-class citizens. And Martin Luther King recognized that and fought tooth and nail to change laws to bring civil rights to everybody regardless of skin tone, creed, and ethnic background. And that's why he is remembered. That's why today is such an important day to remember the Civil War, what it represented, what people perceive it represents. And Martin Luther King, which does the next step to build upon the progress that was made during the Civil War. And we continue making progress. Now it may seem like there's some issues with some groups that don't recognize the progress we made that want to go further in the other direction, but progress is still being made. In 1990, Ira Burke, writing for the New York Times, noted the irony at the time. Five states combined, MLK and Robert Lee, to celebrate, although Virginia and North Carolina no longer do so. At least one state has stopped celebrating Robert E. Lee at all, writes Lee Gore for the AL.com. Georgia holiday calendar notes that January 19th is a state holiday, a bit one observed for the day after Thanksgiving. This year may be the year that Arkansas finally splits the two days, writes Emma Putin for the Arkansas Online. State Governor Asa Hutchins also pushed for the two days separation in 2016 and said that the split is top priority. I disagree. I think both should be recognized on the same day for what they represent. They represent slavery and the end of slavery and the person that fought for the South. And then we also celebrate Martin Luther King that builds onto the victory of the Civil War to ensure that his dream is met. Now, I don't know if he ever saw his dream before he was gunned down, which I don't like. Don't get me wrong. That's another hot topic that I'm not going to get to in this video. But the fact is, both people should be celebrated for the progress that we have made today. Understanding where we've come from, understanding our checkered back background or past. Our past is not a pretty one, not a righteous one, but we must understand our past to understand the progress we have made. And that's why today is such an important day for all of America, because it's a civil rights victory day. And we should recognize both spectrum. With that being said, that is my video. Please leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. Do you celebrate Robert E. Lee Day and why? Do you only celebrate Martin Luther King Day and why? Or do you celebrate both? And do you recognize the importance of both people in American history? Let me know in the comments down below. With that being said, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.